Hi, my name is Jeff Bailey and I'm the instructor for our class. I would like to welcome you to our first module video and begin with a brief introduction of myself. I live with my wife in Middletown and I've been teaching at Mendocino College for approximately 20 years. I teach business and computer science classes. My undergraduate educational background is in engineering physics and I have a master's of business degree from Pepperdine University. My work experience has been in technology and corporate management. I worked for 15 years in a research center and I have been a VP of two major corporations. I currently own and operate a software development company which deals with online database management systems. In the module titled Introductory Announcements, you will read a broad range of information about this class. Please read it all and focus on the following four important facts about how the class works. Each line in each module is an item, and these items must be completed in the order that they are displayed, from top to bottom. The program will not let you skip over them and go on to the next item. Each item must be completed before you can progress to the next module. All in items in a module must be completed before the due date. The module due date is indicated in the name of the video at the top of each module. Items not completed by the due date will receive zero points and cannot be made up. So it's very important that you uh, do the work b before the due date. Each module will be open for two weeks, with the exception of this very first module, but they will be published two weeks before the due date, so you have plenty of time to work on them and get them done before the due date. I recommend you do not try to wait until the last day to do the work, because that creates problems. However, late items, even though they are not graded, must be submitted, because every item must be submitted before you can progress to the next module. The next item in the module I want to talk about is the syllabus for our class. The syllabus uh, should be read carefully because it contains valuable information in the following areas. First there is a course description. Then the textbook is described and I have recently sent you an email with information on how you can order an ebook for our class. Uh, you may alternatively purchase a hard copy of the text. The hard copy is a little more expensive, but it's very easy to use, and I would really recommend it if you can afford the extra cost. The syllabus also describes the course grading, a list of module due dates, and a copy of the student learning objectives for our course. The next item in the module is called Introduce Yourself to the Class. This page describes two posts which you will be making in the discussion section of the website. To go to the discussion section, you click on the discussion menu item on the left side of the screen. The first post that you will be making on the first uh, discussion topic is, will contain two paragraphs. The first paragraph will be a brief introduction of yourself to me and to the class. The second paragraph will be your opinion on which of the four functions of management you think is most important and a description of why. The four functions of management, by the way, are planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. If you don't have your textbook yet, you can answer uh, this question from your own experience. The second paragraph will be your reply to another student's first post. So you will be making a first post, introducing yourself and answering the question, and then you will look for someone else who has posted that same information, and you will reply to it. That will be your second post. The next item in the module, in the last item, is called Discussion Assignment. Open this item by clicking on it and then copy and paste your two posts from the discussion section just above into the assignment window. The assignment window can be accessed by clicking on the submit assignment button in the upper right corner of the first screen. 
So once you have completed your posts, you will copy them and then paste them into this assignment page. And then at the end of that process, you click on the Submit Your Work button and uh, your work will be submitted. I wish you good luck and I look forward to working with you throughout this semester. Each of these modules will begin with a video where I try to give you a little more explanation of what might be going on. So good luck and I'll see you soon.